Hey, how you doing? <sighs> Another Valentine's Day has come and gone. Didn't get no chocolate, didn't get no flowers, but I did get to live another day. And um, let me see. I connected with some wonderful friends like Cheryl, um, Jahan, um, you know, the, sometimes it feels like you're alone, but you're never alone. My son, Junior, he sent me a lovely message this morning, and, you know, there's always hope, you know, when you're alive, even if the hope seems dismal, you don't know. But today I want to create a, a wave, you know. I'm going to call it Truth for Thursday. It's nice to go down my news feed and see, you know, black icons like Sidney Porche, um, John Amos, who played Kunta Kinte in Roots, and also um, John in uh, Good Times, you don't know. Um, there's a lot of heroes, black, white, you don't know. Um, I stopped looking at the world through color. But there's one thing I want to say, though. I'm always proud of who I am and where I come from, you don't know. Um, God created me to be a black woman on this earth, but he didn't say that being black made me elite or that I have a chip on my shoulder, nor did it say being black was a sin. That's man-made hatred. You don't know that we um, judge people's merits on their pigmentation. No matter how much you try to explain to people at the end of the day when our time on earth is done, if you're white, it's not going to buy you eternal life. If you're black, it doesn't give you an automatic um, pass through the pearly gates, you know. And guess what? We all came from dust. That is why when we expire, and uh, we expire, expire, expire until we're nothing but dirt in that big old box, they bury us in your done no. But there's one thing I want to know. I always wonder why does the world despise black people so much? I'm just looking at this black history celebration and I'm asking myself, um, you know, why is black history in the month of February, the coldest month? of the year for those that are born in the northern hemisphere. You know, looking at Pride Month, their uh, celebration of their lifestyle and history of being amongst the Pride group. Their celebration is in June, in the summer, where they could go outside and be festive. And it's 30 days long. February only has 28 days and sometimes 29. It's the shortest month. What can we do out here to celebrate in this cool? When you step out in the cold, you just want to run back inside right away. Therefore, meaning all events are indoors. We can't go outside. It's terrible. I'm, and that's why I, I'm, I'm just like, you know what? I don't have to celebrate for one month to be black. I am black. What I celebrate is that God gives me life to wake up each day. But really, though, injustice is a crime. You don't know. You uh, look in the news. I always know when a, a, a suspect or criminal is black or white because they say it. Black man held in this. Black man, blah, blah, blah. They don't say the name, you know. The first caption is black. And if, if it's a, a criminal or something of another race, they just say, um, so like 40-year-old suspect, blah, blah, blah. They leave out the color. It's sad, yo. 
But I'm just wondering why is is uh Black History Month so duped for us, you know? I mean the coldest month of the year. Can't go out and do no festival, you know, to increase cohesiveness and even invite others to share in our heritage, you know. But I guess it's the way of life, you know. They don't, they say man, woman, but rarely do I hear people address uh, each other as the human race. It's been broken down into so many different colors. At the end of the day, you think that when they're lowering your casket six foot of sun, <coughs> that the earth is going to say, oh, sorry, no blacks can be buried here. The ground will take you, whether you're black, white, Chinese, whatever you is. But just remember, the ground is going to take you. You don't know. So that was my little spiel for the day, for the evening. Um, I hope you all had a good day. You don't know. And, uh, yeah, that was it. But uh, I wanted to share a little song with you. Everybody's laughing at poor Mayor John Tory in Toronto. I remember when there was the Olympic bid. And they wanted to bring it over to Africa. And Mayor Mel Lassman, you know, nobody's better with his dried up furniture. I remember when he was the mayor and he said, why would we want to go over there? We don't want to get eaten in a pot. But think about it. I like to walk barefoot for more than five months in the year. I can't go up outside and run up and down without shoes on. But you know what? In Africa, those same jungles they make fun of. And whatever, you could roam the nice earth and the sand, the red dirt. When I was in Ghana, I, I love seeing red dirt, you know. Something you don't see in the northern hemispheres, you don't know. <coughs> You know, we used to be a very loving people, but we were taught violence. Do you ever think about that for black history? We were so friendly. We welcomed the enemy with a smile when they came with little gifts and things to lure us in. And when I look at my grandchildren's school studies, you know, they talk about the evolution of man. Well, for black, most of the time, when they show that evolution that we derive from monkeys, it's black people. They show us you're transformed from a monkey or ape or whatever, and then the, the, the outcome is a black man. What about those Vikings? You don't know the white Vikings. Um, they they were the, they were from the cold. Their veins have ice in it. Not all of them, but those who originated racism and classism and all of that. I don't know. But you know what I say? Um, keep living your history every day. Not just in the cold month of February. You don't know. Be proud of who God created you to be. Love others. Love the whites. Love the Chinese. Whatever. I blame the Vikings and those people long, long ago that set the precedence for racism. You know, that was just my little rant for yeah. Tuesday, Truthful Tuesday. I might come Can back next week like with more truth. Yeah. But here too. <laughs> Hello, Africa. How you doing?
doing, Africa? How you doing, Africa? I just want to say, you know, that God blessed me to see the motherland. I want to tell you the moment I got off that plane, you know, it was just like the ear is so different, you know. When I got off the plane, they didn't hook the plane that lets you right off directly in the airport. I got out, I walked down the stairs and then walked to the bus to drive us to the airport. It's a different world. I went to Ghana and when I looked up at the sky, I was like, wow, yo, look where I'm coming from. Now that is black history, you don't know. <laughs> God, it's been 10 years since I've been to Africa. I saw the Mediterranean Sea, the slave castle, Cape Coast Beach, Coastal Beach. I've, I've seen the capital of Ghana, Accra, that means cry your own cry in English, ain't nobody cry, gonna cry no tears for you. Campbell soup, you don't know. Groundnut soup with fufu. Ah! <laughs> Did you ever have Banku? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Maybe I'll be back next week, Tuesday, with some more truth. You don't know. But in the meantime, between time, bless upon yourself. And as they say in Ghana, Medopa. <laughs> Racism sucks, doesn't it? Racism sucks.